Yo, this scene is so good. Look how pretty it is. A city dead for a thousand years. A city I had to see with my own eyes. <laughs> the end of Yuna's journey. The last chapter <laughs> in my story. My thoughts, they kept floating up and then slipping through my fingers. Slipping away before I could pin them down with words. Yuna, I say no. If we go down there, then you'll... <laughs> Riku, you're a true friend, and I thank you, but I must go down to Sanarkand. I'm not saying we shouldn't go, but shouldn't we think about it some more? There's got to be some kind of way we can save you, Yuna! All my life, I knew this moment would come. Thank you, Riku. Thank you for everything. Don't say that, Uni. It's not over yet. Tell Sid, thank you. No, you can tell him yourself. Can I just leave it? Sir Oren, Kimari told me, when my father wanted me taken from Bavel to Besaid, it was you who told Kimari, right? I had always wanted to meet you someday. I am truly glad that I had that chance. Having you as a guardian was so great an honor. I don't know how to thank you. Perhaps if I defeat Sin, that will be my thanks to you. That's what I'll do. Yes. I will challenge Sin. I will defeat Sin. If you are all there watching this, then I guess Sin is already gone. And so am I. I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say, Sir Oren, I thank you. Kimari, <laughs> do you remember the first day we met? I was only seven. My father had defeated Sin, and all Bavel was celebrating. Everyone was saying what a hero my father was. I was so happy. But when night came, it occurred to me. My father had defeated Sin, and now... He was dead. Now, I was all alone. I couldn't sleep. So I wandered into the town, away from the celebrating crowds. I stood on the bridge in Bavel, where my father and I had parted. Standing there, alone, I could see the fields where he had fought Sin. Then, you appeared, Kamari. You said you were looking for the daughter of Braska, remember? At first, 
I was so scared until I realized what a gentle person you are. <laughs> you weren't used to talking to children. When I told you that I was Brasco's daughter, you said you would take me as far from Bavel as you could. That it was the wish of a man facing death. I think I cried then because that that was when I knew my father was dead and I would never see him again. You just held me without saying a word. I cried after we got to Besaid too. When you tried to go after leaving me in the care of the temple, I held on to you crying, "Don't go, don't go." And you listened, Kimari. You stayed. Kimari, thank you. Thank you so much. And I've always liked your broken horn. Waka, Lulu. I'll never forget my days spent with you, growing up in Besaid. We always played together, us and Chapu. That's why I was always so happy, I think. And when you refused to let me become a summoner, and I did it anyway, I'm sorry. I've always wanted to apologize. You know, when you tried to stop me then, really, I was happy. I could tell you really cared about me. You were like my big brother and sister. No. I think you really were my big brother and sister. <sighs> what else? <laughs> I love watching you play Blitzball, Waka. <laughs> I even love it when you scold me, Lulu. <laughs> really. I guess that leaves the newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Aves. You are... I am... Well, um... I'm glad... I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but... <sighs> it's funny. So... So this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling than anything I had ever imagined. Wonderful. But it hurts sometimes. Mm -hmm. I wonder. I... <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everything. <laughs> maybe... Maybe that's why it hurts. When I... When I think about us never being together again at all... I'm afraid. No, I shouldn't say that. I'll do that part over. Um... What you up to? It hurts. It hurts. But that's also the same scene where they talk about going to Xanarkin together and how great it'll be. Like, that's very early on in the game too. That she pretty much records her final thoughts to everybody to play when she dies. Like, like come on. Come on. You're killing me, game. <laughs> also... <laughs> I knew you were going to say something about that door randomly opening. <laughs> Even when it opened, I was like, oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, 
You damn goat, you think we're eating all of me hand here? Close the damn door. Double calf. I need a three and a four. Do I have a three and a four? Oh hell yeah, Lulu, let's go get double cast, girl. This might be good. Oh, Kiraga. Ah, uh, you know, I don't really use Yuna's healing because it's not AoE. You can't target the whole party with it, so... Not really good. High ammo. In my opinion. So pretty much what I'm getting at is if you play the game for the first time and you get to that scene and you watch that sphere from Yuna and you don't feel something, I'm sorry, but maybe maybe these types of games just aren't for you. You know? Which I totally fine, I get that. But I mean that's That's heavy, man. <laughs> See, it makes sense, noobs. <laughs> and now this part coming up, you now kind of realize that, like, the whole game has kind of been Tita sitting at the campfire here up until this point, and now it's like, okay, now we're here. Here it is, the opening shot. Fantastic. Fantastic work. Play to Xanarkin to make me cry. Music makes you cry, not gonna lie. It's good. The best type of music is that music that invokes that emotion in you. I think, at least. That's why I love video game music so much. like video game music or like anything Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Well, that gave me goosebumps. See, I, I, I guess I just like open myself up and allow myself to feel that, I guess. Hey, there was more, right? I mean, like that time. Uh, anyone? I think 
Yes? I think that we should stop. Maybe. For now. And they're all sitting there reminiscing about their journey. Like, come on! My freaking heart, man! Stop! Of strike a Rooney. Also, this does. This section of the game does something that I love when games do to not break immersion. When you get into battles, it just continues playing to Xanarkand. It doesn't like shift into the high tense battle music. I love when games do that, it's brilliant. The tongue holder. Riku. Okay, okay. I'm sure no jokes can be made about that. I should have known it was Silence Touch. Like, that's. It's pretty obvious. In terms of random encounters, what do you mean? compares to Kate's it. Yo, let's go! Told you. I told you. Oh, yeah, okay. I completely get where you're coming from now. Am I crazy? Ah, let's go, I'm not crazy. Looks like the far plane. Close enough. There I was, just strolling, getting MP. Went out of nowhere. Ah, behemoth. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm tired of fighting behemoths, my man. Get me into Xanarkin. Get me to the end of the game. Journeyer of the long road, name yourself. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Besaid. Your eyes, my dear, show me the long road you have traveled. Very good. You have journeyed well. Lady Unaleska will surely welcome your arrival. Go to her now and bring your guardians with you. Go. Yes. Oh, he was dead. Okay. I was like, is my man just living here? 
year round just waiting for summoners. She said Lady Yokun, didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yokun? This dome is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People's thoughts remain here forever. <laughs> <laughs> 